look at this week's time uh, table for you guys and uh, next week so you guys know basically what you need to get done and where and what sort of workshops you need to attend for this project so that you can plan accordingly. So if you look over here on the timetable we've got for today, uh, 10 a.m. You guys are hopefully watching this now, uh, the project overview. And then basically what I'd like you to do after you've done watching the videos is think about what direction you want your project to go in. Take notes in your sketchbook and sort of start thinking about what your initial ideas are after uh, throwing a bunch of stuff at you and what sort of stuck. Um, start thinking about what objects you might want to use. Gather them together. So, you know, maybe you have a wand around your house. Maybe you go outside. Maybe you go to a beach or uh, a thrift shop or whatever and think about, you know, what, what sort of objects do you want to use to tell your project? Maybe you gather some things around and start thinking about the story behind those. Then, um, you know, you've got your lunch break and then start researching into artists and filmmakers, um, animators, games that um, and, and the appropriate materials. The journal task is available for you on my UCA and I will create a separate video on how to use my UCA and get the resources. Um, make sure that you understand the terminology and what sort of themes I want you to explore this week and maybe consider writing and, and analyzing that in your sketchbooks and start to work on the journal task uh, for photo students tomorrow. Yeah, there's a sort of an online sort of feedback session with Jack in the morning and I'll show you how to use that in Access Collaborate to uh, uh, do that and then for uh, games and animation students, there's two workshops that are going to be on campus, so you might want to consider coming into campus because they're not going to be online, so they're going to be on campus to kind of start introducing that to you, and I'll cover that in tomorrow's uh, sort of video. Um, and then film students, tomorrow morning I'm going to ask you guys to watch The Big Lebowski, and uh, then there's like a feedback and ideas generation in the afternoon for you guys. So that's what you sort of need to prep for Tuesday. So Tuesday, once again, both today and Tuesday, it's optional for if you don't have the workshops to be either online or in person. So the studio is there. But if you are, um, uh, we, we do want everybody to check in uh, really, really quickly. Just check in. And this way you can also meet Jack. There's going to be a check in. It's going to be on Collaborate. Once again, I'm going to put a separate video in this playlist for you on how to access Collaborate and the course materials for this project. So there's going to be the online check-in at 10. That's how your attendance is going to be taken for Tuesday. Uh, and then basically it's online sort of project development with the um, photo students to help prep you for the workshop that's coming up on Thursday. And uh, the film students, you're going to have the opportunity to watch The Big Lebowski. And if you have seen it, watch it again so that it's uh, fresh in your head to discuss it later on this afternoon uh, for your Tuesday. For the uh, animation and games students on campus in the DM room B102, that's the one where you go up to the library. It's on the left, the one that doesn't have the windows. <laughs> uh, Andy Clift will be doing a Photoshop refresher. And this is particularly good for those of you guys that are still heavily leaning on maybe using Procreate on your tablets and struggling with getting your head around Photoshop or just generally struggling with Photoshop and using the technology. This is a nice way of sort of easing you back into that. Even if you feel like you're, you're pretty confident with it, it doesn't hurt to go and just get a refresher and get ready for um, doing more advanced stuff in the next couple of projects moving into FMP. So this is an opportunity for you guys to go in and uh, develop your skills further. Now, if you feel like you're already very competent with Photoshop and you already feel like you, you know Photoshop really well, then of course, this workshop is not mandatory. All workshops are optional, but I do expect you guys to know the skills. So if you don't know the skills and you don't go to the workshop, it will be problematic. But if you do know the skills and you don't go to the workshop, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, once again, before going on to campus, you will be asked to wear a mask on campus still. And if you are exempt, you're exempt. But if you are not exempt, make sure you have a mask. And also to be sure to take a lateral flow test before going in. Uh, then in the afternoon, 
The, there is another online check-in with Jack. It is 15 minutes just to check where everybody is, field any questions, and for your attendance to be taken. Yeah. If you're on campus and you missed the online check-in, just say hi to Jack and and sign it in the studio. Yeah. Um, your the afternoon there is a um sorry there's a typo here I didn't change the times, uh but basically in the afternoon from um one thirty to two thirty you guys sorry about that <laughs> you guys have a discussion based on the film and talking about how you guys are going to integrate this project. Now film students tomorrow, so on your Wednesday, you guys will have a workshop with me talking about how to do script writing and writing a script. It's the only time I could get somebody in. The person that I normally have doing film work with film students is unfortunately unavailable due to a scheduling conflict. So the only time I could arrange for a workshop for you guys to get you up to speed with that is unfortunately a Wednesday morning. So I appreciate you guys doing it on your non-plot day. Um, and then for those of you guys who are not in a workshop in the afternoon, that is the time for you guys to develop your skills. Start planning for Thursday. Get your idea really solid so that you can start thinking about how you're going to produce it and what sort of skills you need to do. In the afternoon on campus, there is an intro to Illustrator, and that's going to be with Chrissy. And that's once again in the computer lab on the left hand side of the library when you're going in, the one that's darker. Yeah. Um, and that will be your opportunity to learn Illustrator. Now, Illustrator is a really powerful vector based drawing tool that will allow you to create um, things like icons. We use it a lot in After Effects, the pen tool and vector based drawings. And it's a really strong, powerful way of creating scalable art. Yeah. And in the workshop, Chrissy's going to look at sort of creating little icons with you guys, getting you around the software. And it'll be it's a two week workshop. So the first one is intro to the software and giving you the skills so that you can hopefully produce something in Illustrator for your outcome for this week. Once again, on Wednesday, that's the script writing workshop for film students. But if anybody else is interested in learning how to script write, that's with me and that's going to be on Collaborate. Uh, so that will be uh, available and I'll also record that, especially if you have maths and English on a Wednesday and can't attend. Uh, then on Thursday, Thursday, I would like everyone to please be in the studio. Thursday, we've got Sinead, you'll meet Jack in the studio and Sam Chick in. The animation and game students, there is an all day drawing workshop for you guys to basically flex your drawing muscles. And please, 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 for the Thursday, be sure to bring in drawing materials and your sketchbooks. Uh, I'll send out an email to remind you, don't worry. And for the photography students, there is going to be a fantastic masterclass on object photography with Sam Chick. It's going to be an all day workshop and the film students, I'd encourage you guys to take part in this as well because lighting, except for flash lighting, is basically the same and learning these lighting techniques and working in the studio is a great way of better understanding sort of filmmaking as well. It's going to be all digital photography and it's going to be about how do we create sort of polished object photography? How do we light? How do we use sets? How do we use the cameras with the lighting? How do we work in the studio? And it's your first real like, chance to get a workshop in the studio and with using lighting setups. So it's a really great opportunity and I'd really like you all to be in. Once again, take a test before you come in and wear a face mask unless you are exempt. Then Friday in the studio, there is um, workshops and time for the photo students to shoot as well. Now, on Friday, uh, there's a check-in. Uh, so if you're not in a workshop, uh, you go to the studio, uh, of course. Uh, there's peer feedback on Monday, so make sure that you have stuff for Monday to share and get feedback on. This is a two-week project, so you have a very short window of time to get everything done. So um, animation students, in the morning, Sinead is going to do a workshop with you about stop motion. You'll need to make sure your phones uh, have the stop motion studio app installed for that. And then photo students, um, there's access to the photo studio and Katie Jones about sort of helping uh, the Vizcom students shoot their work. 
So you can ask her to use the studio and set things up. And you can also use D10 as well to photograph. Um, and talk to her about signing up for slots to photograph your work next week as well if you're planning on using the studio. Games design students and film students, in the morning there's an intro to After Effects with Chrissy Peters and that's once again in the computer lab on the way up to the library on the left hand side, the dark one. Um, and basically After Effects is going to be a really important tool. Now if you're thinking I'm a games designer, I don't need to learn After Effects. Actually After Effects is a really great way for you to understand some of the principles of animation because animating in games and animation is basically the same. Um, but understanding After Effects will allow you to create, for example, like a nice title sequence for a game. And that's what Katie's going to look at with you guys, uh, particularly for the film students too. The ability to make your own um, motion graphics and title sequences is really important to learn how to use. And it's a really, it goes hand in hand with a better understanding of Premiere. So Chrissy will be introducing you how to use After Effects and then in the following week going a little bit further into that. Then in the afternoon on Friday, games design students, um, you've got sort of a workshop sort of talking about how objects are used uh, in gameplay in the studio with Sinead. And animation students, you have the After Effects workshop with Chrissy in the afternoon. With Chrissy in the afternoon, it's going to focus a little bit more just on the animation side of After Effects. But also, once again, it's a super powerful animation tool. And Hopefully you'll realize how you can work with that and uh, Photoshop to integrate a lot of effects and make 2D animation really, really quick and really complex without a lot of work. Um, and once again, photo students and film students, this is your chance to uh, start developing your project, plan out, you know, spaces, kit, get ideas solidified so that next week you can start producing your final outcomes. All right, so it's a very top loaded first week with lots of workshops and idea generation so that next week it's a little lot less but you also have a little bit more flexibility but still workshops and things to support your ideas so if you look at the following week week two of the project um you've got your peer feedback on monday morning with jack this is going to be a great way to kind of get your sort of feedback on your idea some advice from your peers and tutors on what sort of direction you should go in, particularly if you're stuck. Photo students, you will have access to the photo studio and Katie Jolin will be about to help support your concept. Um, sign up for a two hour studio slot. Uh, talk to her what time would be a good time for that, uh, particularly ahead of this week. Some good planning will be important. Uh, everyone else. You should be taking on board the advice and resolving ways. So I'd like everybody to be in the studio for Monday morning, but in the afternoon, if you prefer to go and work from home or to work in a computer lab or in the library, there's a lot of flexibility because then that's sort of your time to start really pushing forward and start producing your work. Tuesday, um, you can either choose to check in online especially if you're choosing to work from home that day or work in the studio. There's also two workshops uh, for particularly geared towards the animation and games design students. But if you're a film or photo student and you want to learn, for example, the photo bashing, you're welcome to take part as well. Um, it's time to work on your projects um, and develop your skills further. Katie is about to help photo students as well. She's with the, the fine arts students on Tuesdays, but if you plan ahead of time and talk to her what you want, she can have things set up for you ahead of time. Uh, there's another online check-in in the afternoon. Ooh, I'm terrible at writing the times down. Uh, so that's going to be at 13. Uh, what a, so uh, that's going to be at 13.15 to 13.30, yeah? There we go, that's better. I can proofread my work. Uh, and basically you log on to Collaborate to get your attendance taken, especially if you're not in the studio. If you're in the studio, just check in with Jack. Um, or if you're in Chrissy's workshop, just, just check in there and she'll we'll co consolidate all of the attendance. Um, project development, once again, Tuesday, if you're not in the workshops, um, time to work on the project. 
Now, the photo bashing in Photoshop workshop, that's going to be online. Um, and that is going to, you're going to need to make sure that you can access Photoshop on your computer. If you cannot access Photoshop on your computer, that's okay. You can still uh, think about um, accessing uh, on campus. You can go to the eZone or the computers in the library, uh, but it will be important to have access to the software. If you still haven't signed up for Photoshop and installed it, or if your computer just won't run Photoshop, um, be sure to check that out. Uh, same thing, and basically photo bashing is a technique which we use a lot in sort of um, concept art. So particularly for games design students, this is a great workshop. Animations is helpful as well, where we take images and we crop things out and we basically manipulate them to create something that's a hybrid between a photo and a painting. And in the afternoon, there is a continuation of the Illustrator workshop from the previous Tuesday and basically building upon the skills and um, looking at things like the Pathfinder tool and gradients to create an object for a games design concept or some cool animation elements that you could use in After Effects, for example. Um, on Wednesday morning, there'll be an online script workshop with me again. Um, basically, it's going to be sort of a feedback on your scripts. If you are unable to attend and you still want feedback on your scripts, uh, just send me a, a copy of your script to my email and um, helps if I can type. Uh, and I will get back to you with comments and notes so that you can have that done. So basically, for Wednesday morning, all of the film students need to have a draft of their script ready for feedback and development. Um, project development um, is basically all day Thursday. So Thursday, if you want to work in the studio, that's great. If you want to work online, there'll be an online check-in for those of you guys online as well. But basically, you have the opportunity to develop the project further, get support. If you want feedback from a tutor, um, both Jack and Sinead are in to offer you feedback. Um, and Friday, you've got additional project development, uh, studio feedback and support. Um, and basically once again, your project is due Monday at 10 a.m. in the studio. Of course, the crits in the afternoon, so if you still need to hang work or print things out, you can do that during your lunch or come in early. Um, but once again, it's just a two week project. The next project's three weeks, so you'll have a little bit more time then as well. And Friday, there is a second part to the intro to After Effects. Now there's a booking issue with the room, so I've only got a computer lab for the morning, but the online, uh, if you, Sinead's gonna teach the same session, so if you need additional support or if your computer can't handle After Effects, because it does take quite a lot of processing power, try and attend the morning workshop. But if you've got a laptop that can do it and you've got it up running on your laptop, Chrissy will do it from the convenience of your own home online in the afternoon. So whether you're film, games design, or animation students, it's going to be the same workshop in the morning and in the afternoon. It's just whether you're choosing to either uh, do it online or in person. And once again, there will be an online check-in for those of you guys who are doing at-home project development. So it'll be one in the morning and one in the afternoon. If you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to contact myself or Jack. I will copy him in on the emails so that you guys can send him an email and let him know as well. I look forward, it's a quick project and a quick turnaround, but I'm sure you guys uh, will do fine with this. And once again, just keep in mind, the second week, you have you know a lot of time Monday, um, unless you're in the workshops, You've got plenty of time Tuesday. Even if you are uh, in the workshops Tuesday, you still have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to develop your workshops. Uh, you know, you've got half day Friday, depending on which workshop you do. But there's lots and lots of time to develop and work on the project. So if you manage your time wisely, the first week is basically leveling up with your skills and figuring out how, what you want to do and how you want to do it. And then the second week is you making the work. In the next video, I'll go over the project brief and um, uh, basically what you need to do for this week in the assignment.